The Miami Dolphins had the best offense in the NFL in 2023 in terms of total yards. However, the offensive line received a lot of criticism. Even though the team signed veterans Odell Beckham Jr. and Jonu Smith in the offseason, the offensive line is still a big question for many. With training camp starting soon, how should we view the offensive line? Pro Football Focus Zoltan Bude ranked the Dolphins offensive line 18th out of 32 teams. That means they are in the middle of the pack. Bude noted, helped by the system and Tua Tagovailoa's quick release, the Dolphins offensive line started strong in 2023. But injuries hurt their performance. The Dolphins lost Robert Hunt and Connor Williams from the middle of the offensive line this offseason, and Taron Armstead's durability is a question mark. Armstead struggled with injuries last season, missing all of October and never fully recovering. He has never played a full season in the NFL. After the last regular season game against New England, Hunt had a hamstring injury. Williams had a groin injury and ended up on injured reserve in December with a torn ACL. Williams is now a free agent and likely won't return. The Dolphins signed Aaron Brewer from the Tennessee Titans to fill the spot. Brewer has played in 58 games with 40 starts in four seasons, playing both center and guard. One of the most interesting position battles will be for the right guard spot following Hunt's departure. The contenders are Robert Jones, Liam Eikenberg, Lester Cotton, and newcomer Jack Driscoll. Having several capable offensive linemen is always a good thing. A potential replacement for Armstead is 2024 second-round pick Patrick Paul, who is learning from the 11-year veteran. In an ESPN article ranking all 32 NFL starting lineups, analyst Mike Clay called the guard position the Dolphins' biggest weakness. Hunt left during the offseason, and Miami did not make a notable addition to replace him, Clay wrote. Isaiah Wynn, Lester Cotton, Robert Jones, and Liam Eikenberg return after accounting for all of the team's guard snaps not played by Hunt last season, though all had poor pass block win rates. Miami did not address the position in the draft, so there is no short or long-term solution at guard. Bude also mentioned that the offensive line benefited from Tagovailoa's quick release and the system. While it is true that a quick release helps, the offensive linemen also deserve credit for giving the quarterback time to throw. Just as a good defensive backfield can help the defensive line with coverage sacks, a talented skill group can elevate those around them. Wide receivers Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddell, running backs Raheem Mostert and Devon Chain, along with a capable quarterback like Tagovailoa, should benefit the offensive line, and vice versa. The big question is whether the offensive line can do its part to help the whole offense match last season's performance or even improve.